hey everyone welcome back to my channel and this time i bought a trick for you where you can solve it within five second five to ten second i can say it's depend on your speed how much you do it okay so this time i'm going to give you a trick for the middle term and the question is like this suppose if you get a bigger number um, any number like this you see i know that you know about middle term if you are aware of middle term then it's good but most of the strength they like stuck here like if something big number is there what to do they don't know in this case they do it it's a little bit time consuming so no need to worry this time means i'm going to give you a very shortcut trick to get such a factor of such number so how to get this one let's see that video properly okay so let's start without wasting time you see 432 is there so what i'm going to do is that 432 i'm going to factorize this one so I'm just writing 432 and 1. Just take it 1 as always, okay? Now, second number, now you divide it with 2. If you divide with the 2, you see it's very easy. You don't have to divide it. 2 and, uh, 2 to the 4, 3, 2 and 2, minus 2 and 6. How much you're getting? You're getting 216. And with the, what number you divided? with the 2 okay so i multiply this one with the 2 so 1 into 2 is your 2 again you can see this is divisible with the 2 so you can if it, it is divisible by 3 you can divide by 3 or you can try with the 2 also same thing so i'm going to do like if uh, 2 and 16 if i divide the 2 you see 216 it's very easy you can do it directly i'm solving this one i don't need to solve this one so 216 means 200 half is 100 and 16 half is 8 so i can say 108 with the 2 I multiplied and 2 into 2 this will be 4 okay now the again I'm going to divide it with the 2 if you want to divide with the some other number okay 1 and 8 divide with the 2 you're going to get 5 and 4 because 100 um, half is 50 and 8 half is 4 and with 2 you have divided so multiply that 2 with the 4 is a 8 okay and then again you can go ahead if you divide with this one 2 you're going to get 27 okay and 2 multiply by 18 that's a 16 you can do with a 3 also same thing will happen you can go ahead again if you divide with the 3 you're going to get 9 and 16 or uh, 3 is a that will be 48 again you can keep going on like this but we'll see we have in our question 432 and before that 43 x plus 1 okay plus 4 this one is there x square plus this is the thing you need to get 43 now see the combination by which number by addition or subtraction you're going to get any number if you add 54 and 8 will you get 43 no because that will be more than 60 but if you minus then also no because if you minus 54 minus 8 is how much 14 minus 8 how much 6 and this will be only 46 this is not 46 can you see this is 43 can we see this one 27 and 16 yeah you can just add it like let's try it 613 and 43 you see you got your answer this is the trick you can apply to each and every big number and you will almost you will get this one means perfectly you can get all this factor so you can see how much easily we got this one earlier we used to find like this in like suppose x square plus something 5x or 10 is there then we used to multiply like this means I'm just giving example okay we used to multiply with the 1 into 10 so then we're going to write factor like 5 into 2 factor this should not be too I can write like 3x that will be good so we can do like this but this time if in a big number it is there we cannot do it properly okay so I'm going to take this one. This is the method and this is the most shortcut method you can try by yourself. Let's see this one. How much you got? So x square, we got 27. I'm just writing 27 and 16x. If you see it, this is 43. Okay. So I'm going to write x square, 27x and 16x plus 432. So x square, okay, I'm going to get um, let me solve it easily i'm going to take x common i'm going to write 27 x is already outside okay 
यहाँ पे x already है and then after we can do one thing here you see 16 will be common because last में 42 है so it will be divisible by 16 so here will be 16 means x okay because this should be same and then this is 27 you can verify whether multiplying this and this comes this one or not you can just multiply by 16 you will get the same thing only okay if you, you can check by yourself so at the end i can say x plus 16 i'm just writing this too and then x plus 27 so this was the trick for your factorizing middle term with a big number i hope you find it easy i hope this is going to solve your problem while solving the quadratic equation by middle term and now if you have solved this one you can do uh, if you are studying in class 10 you can do class 10 exercise 4.2 question number like this uh, question number 2 i'm going to solve in the next video and you see that one and if you want to try then try now by yourself otherwise i'm going to solve this question okay thank you so much for watching for now and see you in the next video